Hey guys, and welcome back to Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, I was trying to work out how to open that secret. And of course, uh, I did a little bit of reading and I remembered we've got to play with these cogs, which is fine. Yeah, a little bit annoying. You've just got to keep hitting them until they click, essentially. Whilst we're being attacked by God knows how many of these guys. And with all the sound effects going on, it's kind of difficult to hear it click, but that's okay. We shall persevere. There we go, that one's locked into place. That one's locked in, only two hits for that one. Sometimes they take an awful lot of attacks and that's where the difficulty comes in. Ooh, no thanks, Harpy. And for none of your nonsense now. Now before, we start working over these guys. Let's get rid of the harpies. Because we don't want those guys to descend on us whilst we're busy fiddling with gears. Oh, that one clicked straight into place. Happy days. Come on, baby. Let's hear that click. Come on. Let's hear that click. There we go. Beautiful. Now, what delicious items lay within, I hear you asking. Well, to be honest, uh, not much. We've got a steel helmet, which is, eh, it's just an armored helm. But apart from slightly buffing your armor, it doesn't give you any perks, I don't think. We've got a gold plate, which is gold plate mail not as good as what we've already got and we got a star flail which is um not really an amazing weapon i mean as far as i can understand it's not awful it's just you know not exactly great star flail yeah like yeah we're not gonna use it <laughs> we're just gonna keep using our gem sword which would now be up here wouldn't it god damn i wish we could um i really wish we could uh, sort this inventory out anyway let's get the hell out of here away from these medusa heads now we're level 27 and we've basically camped out our power level really in the castle Ooh. oh we've lost nope there's the holy water thank god for that um yeah we've basically capped our power level out in the castle to be honest or at least here because we'll just have to fight a ridiculous amount of enemies to actually level up and it's too time consuming to be honest we went through that secret didn't we yes now let's go through here it's kind of a cool enemy here these guys sword lords but when they die their souls remain into vandal swords i like these guys they're cool but they're not a challenge because we've, oh dear, we've basically beast moded everything in this castle to be honest and grab a pot roast. I don't think what there is in here. Um, the pot roast. I think that's it, actually. Yeah, it's the pot roast. The next section's got a few extra goodies in it, I think. Trying to keep up with my notes here that I've drawn on my tablet. Uh, which, fun fact, um, <laughs> it, there's no option to save my updated notes. It just kind of auto saves, I think, but it doesn't always. <laughs> Thanks, Samsung. Also, the music in this section is freaking amazing. Get out of here, Vandal Sword. Your time is over! Now, there's actually some Vandal Swords down here as well. No, wait, we killed those, didn't we? Yeah. There might be some more this way. There is another secret this way. 
Come at me, sir. Pathetic. Ooh, the holy water. The holy water destroys all. Okay, if we keep going this way, there is a, a little secret area. I kind of think that there's some more stuff in this room, but I don't this think really there is. Suspicious looking. It is suspicious. And that's healing mail. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's armor that heals us. The only problem with it, and I will show this off, um, it heals us so slow that it's not actually worth it. Every now and again, you'll see a little one plus one health come up. And that is how quick it's healing us. There you go, one health. And again, we'll get another bit in a minute. Bearing in mind, it's doing about half the defense of the armor that we had equipped as well. Any more? Still hasn't actually healed us. There we go. It's healed us two units of health all that time that we've had it equipped. So, again, it's just another one of these uh, armored um, items that kind of just useless the the filler items i think this game has an awful lot of filler items to be honest now there is some stupidly overpowered weapons that i'm semi tempted to go and have a look at after this video because i'm not going to be recording oh it disappeared that was only a shuriken that's fine because it's going to be a while before i record again now this is the Karasuman boss. Um, he's kind of a joke. Nothing to worry about at all. In fact, he's doing like one damage to us. We can actually get him into a bit of a wall if we're lucky. Oh, I haven't seen him do that before. But, you know, holy water destroys everything so yes there's a couple of powerful swords that I have to grind for um, and I'm I'm semi tempted to do it you know I am uh, but that will probably be after we finish this one anyway so we can get the firebrand is this the firebrand no this is the uh, Trifing, which is actually a cursed sword that does zero damage, but for whatever reason, I forgot to pick it up in the last episode or a prior episode, anyway. No matter, we have it now, and that's all that matters. Okay, so we actually have a save room here, which we are actually gonna take advantage of. Sure, why not? It's actually my mum's birthday a few days ago, and she's and all of the family are coming to my house uh, later. So instead of recording this game, I'm going to be having Chinese takeaway and cake, which I'm quite happy about, to be honest. And we're actually going to bake the cake as well. Uh, me and my missus. Or should I say my fiance now? Okay, get used to saying that. Um, Norman Curved Sword. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a downgrade to what we already have. There's so many weapons and items in this game, which is fantastic, but like a lot of them are just genuinely ass, which is a bit of a shame. Anywho, onwards and upwards. Now we should remember this area, shouldn't we? Yes, where it all began. All those hours ago, and by all those hours, not really that many, to be honest. This is a very nice little Bru Brucey bonus room. I have health upgrade, heart upgrade, heart upgrade, health upgrade. <laughs> a very nice, very, very nice room indeed. And the ghost card, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's our final familiar. Uh, games librarian, correct me if I'm mistaken, but this LP will probably be almost completely recorded.
by the time it starts uploading, if not completely recorded. So, I might have already worked it out. Come on, let's get that last little chunk. Ideal. I spent all of yesterday instead of recording. Uh, I spent it doing errands and uh, getting a haircut, which was badly needed, and then repairing my brother's computer. So, yeah, time has been somewhat short of late. All right, now, unfortunately, we've got the flea men here. These guys, these guys, ah, they suck. They suck so, so much goat penis, man. Now, this guy here has 400 dollary dues, and you can reliably farm that. So, do what you will with that secret knowledge. Now, we keep going. Damn, Fleeman! Away with ye! Flea riders. Bastards, a lot of them. Damn you! Damn you, flea man! I hope the fleas of a thousand camels infest your arsehole. God damn it. Why? What is it with Castlevania and just having some of gaming's most brutally irritating enemies? I think that's just old school game design. Especially when it comes to like knockback and things like that. This game seems to be riddled with knockback. Which again is a mechanic which serves to do nothing but waste it and annoy the player and waste the player's time. Anywho. Damn you! No! I did not summon thee! Right, you, you little bastard. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Now, in a minute, we're going to have to make a save state. Oh, shit, we're actually out of magic power. Son of a... Okay, one second, guys. I will recharge it and join you back here. Okay. Live and reloaded. Okay, let's head towards this wall. Now, there we actually have the upgrade for our mist ability. And what that allows is for you to become mist until your mana actually drains out completely. And the beauty of this is you're essentially invincible whilst you're in that form, which is really nice, as I'm sure you can imagine. We have fire mail, which is really strong against fire attacks. Kind of exactly what it says on the tin. Although I think it's only kind of like averagely good armor. It's not, it's not that great unless you're fighting things with fire attacks, in which case it's very good. Okay, now remember where we are. We are right back where Richter took on Dracula in the first part of the game. We have some items. We have a Frankfurter. We have a pot roast. Another pot roast. Turkey. Sirloin. And some hearts. Not bad items, really. We also have Resist Stone, Resist Dark, Resist Holy, and the Platinum Male Armor, which, okay. Don't think there's anything hidden there, nope. There's also a Heart Expansion tank in here. Like so. Now, I, actually, let's go in here. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. So that's what Richter wants. He wants the battle to last for eternity, huh? Well, not on my watch. So we're going to drop a safe state here. And, ooh, we're going to kill Richter. 
he's not actually that much to worry about, to be honest. He will do an awful lot of attacks. But luckily, we are incredibly resilient. So we're just going to keep wailing on him. But he certainly has all of his abilities and he knows how to use them. So... <laughs> Okay, phase two. But now feel my unbridled wrath. Uh huh. Bring it on, God man. Oh, Hydro Storm. Yeah, that hurts. All right, God Squad. Let's keep this going. Oof. Now, if this is what religion was like, I'd be all over it. Look at this. Go to church and kick ass and slay some demons. That sounds like a good time to me. Be gone. It's over, Belmont. So the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. Aye, laddie. Godspeed. God fucking speed. So you made it. Alucard, how is Richter? I'm sorry. I see. Thank you for stopping him. Do you suppose that this too was fate? So your journey is over as well then? No, not until I learn what caused Richter's madness. I understand. Well then, may the gods guard you along the way. Farewell. You as well, Alucard. Goodbye. And that's the end of the game. Or so we thought. Back in the day. I remember hearing uh, loads of people in school completing this game, finishing it saying about how they beat Richter and whatnot. And then the rumor mill started uh, looming a few weeks later that actually there was a lot more to this game. And there was. For those who explored every area and found the holy glasses, there was a little bit more to the final fight. Should we have a look? Let's actually do the real final fight, shall we? Which actually isn't the final fight at all. If we equip the holy glasses, we can see that there is a green orb floating above Richter that appears to be, well, controlling him to some degree. So, pray tell, what would happen if we destroy that? I wonder if we can get a different ending. Now, I appreciate that's kind of redundant, leading you on like this, because this game is, what, 30 years old, nearly. But still, all in good fun, right? Now, unfortunately, Richter does not make this easy. Bit of a dick, you see. But luckily, this green ball of something isn't actually that strong. You fool! Who is the fool here, Belmont? Who is the one that's being controlled? Get out of here. 
There we go. You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, I'm not going to lie, that would have been awesome to experience back in the day. That there was more to this game. Another castle, a stronger, more potent castle, because technically that's only half of the game. No, what have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. And we're going to need it. Because the inverted castle does not mess around. It is much, much stronger. But that's okay. Because we're armed to the teeth and we're dressed to kill. Now, if we take a look at the map, we're starting again. But if we hit this point, push up, we can just return to the uh, standard castle, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm going to be ending this video here. Um, when we come back, actually, grab that. There we go. I'm going to go back to that save point. When we come back, I don't know if I'm going to go and grind for the sword. There's a couple of swords. Well, there's one in particular that I actually really wouldn't mind to try and get, but apparently it's a less than 1% drop rate. Um, and to get the full benefit from it, you, you need two. Yeah, yeah, you can imagine how much fun that is to actually grind out. But I am seriously considering it. But anyway, guys, we are halfway there, halfway through this game. And things are only going to get more delicious and difficult from here on out. And, as I've said, up until this point now, I haven't played any further. <laughs> so recording is going to be paused for a while whilst I go and explore and learn the next, uh, the next part of the game. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.